What's good, Liberators? Fingers here, DX2 Demon Review. Today, we're here talking about the Robo Angel that just can't catch a break. The voice of God himself. The Herald. Metatron. The greatest of all the angels. <laughs> we will get into why that's not true in a moment. He is the angel of many names, the voice of God, and the angel of contracts are but two of over 70. He is even suspected to be God himself. Most archangels have the suffix L that means servant of God. Metatron does not have this, and his name translates to the one who serves behind the throne. In Judaism, Metatron was the one who guided Moses and parted the sea in his escape from the Egyptian army. For this, Metatron is held in the highest of regards. Well, no offense to our Jewish friends out there, but DX2 fans, Metatron is held in the deepest of contempt. Let's get into why. He does have a good magic stat, but 210, though that might be buoyed up by a, a panel or two, but we'll just go with it. You can get it up to 210. Me, Tom, on a 230. Sin Infusion with full 250. And that ain't bad. That's very, very workable. That's among one of the highest magic stats you're going to find in the game. His vitality is also quite admirable. At 164 off rip. You can pump that up. It's probably a good bet. Unless you need to fiddle with his agility to get him in the right place on another team his strength is useless his luck eh, i mean you could spend those last 10 in agility or luck dealer's choice he resists a whole bunch of things which is completely useless he even knows light which is equally as useless in 2022 and that is one of the fundamental reasons why metatron is just so underwhelming these days these resists back before everything had a pierce effect they meant something, but even then, Metatron was largely ignored, because he just, he just didn't bring it like he should. And even after several buffs to his character, I mean, they changed his archetype selection a while back. They cha they upgraded his unique skill, and still, there was a collective yawn from DX2's the world over as no one seemed to care. And we'll, we'll talk about why they were perfectly correct in doing that. His transferable Holy Wrath, thematically appropriate, but fairly bog standard. Uh, let's see here. Holy Magic, two to four times on random enemies, power 55. So you can get a 220 hit off this if everything fires off fully, which it never ever does but still it's there you can slot this guy into your light dev apocalypse team and he'll do okay he's, he's there he's, it's, a, it's okay he's not one of the greatest but he can serve in that function as for his second skill infinite chakra natural mp recovered increased by one so he's got divine brands built into him which is very nice. Kind of goes with this whole motif, which is basically they built him to last and to go for extended, protracted battles. But you really, most of the time you're not doing extended, protracted battles. And even if you were, there are better demons for the job than this guy right here. Though he is stubborn, you know, he's got some survivability to him and he's got the infinite chakra built into him. So he keeps coming with the MP and doesn't slow down. So he does have that going for him. And for his unique skill, the fire of Sinai. Almighty magic damage five times on random enemies. Power 45. Yep, that's it. That's all you get. A random hit attack five times. Power of 45. What's that, 225 total damage? Nope, oh, that's 
That's terrific. With an, from an almighty attack, so it can't be resisted. Well, whoop de doo everything's got pierced these days, so nothing gets resisted. In fact, being an almighty attack is basically a hindrance in 2022 because it can't get you that half press turn. At least an elemental attack with pierce has the possibility of getting you that half press turn by exposing a weakness, or as the devs are so fond of doing, they're giving elemental attacks critical hits. They're giving almighty attacks critical hits so that they can do those things like Osiril Lord. So Osiril Lord's attack hits harder than this. Or, uh, it either hits harder or just underneath 225. I thought it was 230. I could be wrong about that. It could be 210. But he can crit and brutalize people. Fire of Sinai cannot. And it costs you a full press turn to use unless you've got him set up to go after a physical demon crits or someone passes and you've got that set up in your turn order. So again, it's really, really, really a lot of negatives for very, very, very few positives. If you level this up, which I recommend you don't, you get plus 12% damage. Thanks. He couldn't even give us the full 20% like everyone else can. Just the 12. Just the 12. Terrific. And, of course, Epi cost minus one, which is usually the big money for that level six skill, which would bring it down to six MP. Meaning, if you wanted to run him turn one in PvP, you could do that with him naturally. Spell brands, he still would get that six MP for that turn one pop off. Still, don't matter, don't work. He's got a multi hit attack, but if uh, pop off fire a I against four enemies, it spreads out all over. What? You do a tiny bit of damage, spread out. Even if you've got a single target, the damage is okay. It's decent. So it's for this to be viable, they would literally have to double, double what this thing can do. You know? So it's like, come on, guys. You're, you're killing us here. You would literally have to make this, like, each attack dealt 90 powers worth of damage or give him 10 of these to make it even worth glancing at oh man talk about a demon who fails to make the grade this guy was grade 99 they gave this guy a grade of 99 he was the highest grade demon in the game for the longest while and it still baffles me to this day that he was so highly prized by the devs they thought this was so freaking cool and i just i can't wrap my head around it for the archetype skill I got him an Aragami for Mahamadine, making him viable for both Demapocalypse in the initial mob wave, which is where I have him right now, and which is the only thing I really use him for. So get him an Aragami. You can sweep some Demapocalypse. You can also use him to farm Alter World quite effectively. I don't use him there, but he is definitely got the potential to slot in there and if you give him this it makes him really good at uh what is it sloth brands of sin is the one with lucifer he can rock out because all, all of them are weak to to holy and none of them block or resist it and that's important because metatron does not have any kind of inbuilt pierce effect to him as for the transferables as i said before i only use them for those dev apocalypses uh, so, Serial Killer boosts sweep damage by 10%. Light boost boosts light damage by 15%. I wouldn't give him light amp or light enhancement or any of the really good, good money skills because he's just... Sorry, buddy, you're just, you're just not there. But if you were building him for PvE, like I said, he's a long-form kind of guy, so giving him Endure, Enduring Soul, probably work well with him. Uh... Yeah, that's that's really all I got for you. If you give him Butcher, uh, Butcher would uh, increase the damage of Fire and I. Serial Killer increases the damage of Fire and I. Serial Killer and Butcher both increasing damage on multi-hit skills or sweep skills. So there, that's uh, that is completely an option. One that I strongly suggest you don't take. Don't invest in this guy. Don't. The, Spend your time on other things. If you're just starting out and you've got them in your kit, 
that's great. He'll carry you through most of the early game. But long term, use your spend your resources on better demons, especially if you're just starting out, because those resources are going to be in 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 low supply. As for brands, give him divine brands, and he gets. 5 MP a turn, which is pretty cool, especially if you're going that long form battle. Other than that, spell brands is really nothing else to consider. Maybe life brands. You know, like I said, long form kind of guy. So really, those are your three that you want to noodle around with. As for the other, you know, ward brands if you need them, speed brands if you need them, guard brands if you're going up against physical demons, you know how these things work. I will leave that up to you. As for the panels, panel one reduces the cost of all mighty skills by one MP. Pretty cool, which brings his Fire of Sinai ability down to five if you fully level Fire of Sinai, which I have not, but it is there. And if you transfer Mega Dolone or something onto him, he will be able to do it at, what does that cost naturally? Eight. He'll be able to do it for seven MP, so that's... An option. Again, not one I would consider for too long. Panel 2, minus 30% magic damage received. Uh, so again, make him great for farming light altar worlds, assuming you've got him in the origami archetype. And also builds into his long form, stubborn, tanky kind of nature. So hey, bueno. And panel 3, plus 20% to magic damage inflicted. Again, increasing his utility in Dem Apocalypse. In light alter world farming or farming brands of sin. So that's cool. I'm like on paper, all this stuff sounds really good. But just he doesn't have the skills to pay the bills. He doesn't have the skills to back these up, which is unfortunate, to say the least. And for his panel four, one of the what is it, five exclusive demons with a panel four capability. Decreases all damage received by 20% all damage received so that means he gets a 50% reduction in magic damage coming at him and again that should be amazing but it just it just doesn't pop it for some reason it doesn't work and he'll get 20% uh defense against physical attacks too but 50% for magic when combined with that panel too so that's cool it's very very cool Activates the following chain effect. One fire of Sinai is activated, inflicts almighty magic damage three times with the power of 55. So you get an extra three attacks on uh, fire of Sinai that are at an increased damage rate of 55 instead of the normal 45. So you get five attacks at 45 power, then three more at 55 power. That takes it over 300 or so damage. It's like 320, something like that. Which, hey, not bad. But again, it's all spread out all over the place, making it not great for PvP. But if you are fighting a, a boss who appears alone and you're single targeting someone down, they, that, that will be brutal. That's basically a Hasutobi from uh, Yoshitsune without the crits. And uh, you need the crits for Hasutobi. But still, 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 it ain't bad. But he's still... He fails. He's got to repeat the second grade. Just, just come back when you when you got something a little better. Now these panels are all great. It's just these skills here that are just so much nothing and make him so limited in his scope. And before we wrap it up, let's check out the other archetypes because I'm actually curious myself, because I can't remember for the life of me what his other archetype skills were. I know they changed. The archetype skills you see here are not the archetype skills he had when the game released. I believe his protector archetype was Salvation originally, and they altered a few of the other ones. I only remember the Salvation one because I had him in protector archetype when they made that shift over, and I was like, oh, what? Oh, man, okay. So that's why I remember that. Yeah, they changed its archetype skills and still everyone just said, nah, we're good. We're good. So for the Aragami, Muhammad Dime, which we discussed, holy sweep, max power, awesome. For his protector archetype, offensive cry, which is a fan, 
fantastic skill. Reduces all enemy defense and increases party's attack by 20%, which is amazing. Way back when, this was this was a premium, premium skill. I transferred it onto my Hellbiker and ran Kiwamis with it. You know, Hellbiker would charge everyone up in the first wave of trash mobs. Would go into the next round, everyone was charged and critted up. Hellbiker's first turn was to throw up the offensive cry, all enemy defense down, all attack up, and then brutality ensued. This is a fantastic skill. Even now, this is a great skill just because it gets that that synergy of you know attack up for you, defense down for them. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. As any of you who run Moiray Sisters can attest. And uh, Hero Masticato fans, as I am, can attest that is an insanely useful skill. For the Psychic Archetype, Mana Gain, plus two to max MP. Uh, sure, if you're running him in PvP, if you're running him in PvE, this goes along with his kit very, very well. Again, he's built to last, built to go the distance, built to have a lot of MP all the time. So, yeah, he's starting the fight off with an extra two MP. Of course, in PvP, this is useless. But again, when was the last time you saw Metatron anywhere near PvP? But still, for PvE, Kiwamis, hey, there it is. Extra 2 MP. If you've got his Fire a Sinai fully leveled, popping off at 5 MP, you can keep that going for a good long while. Hell, if you get Divine Brands on him, you can never stop the Fire of Sinai's. 5 MP Fire of Sinai's, Divine Brands on him, plus Infinite Chakra. You're getting back 5 MP every turn, so he's just almighty boom, 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 boom. Which, again, sounds awesome. But in practice, it's just not there. It's just, oh. You know what? I may have to get wacky just because I'm looking at this. And it's, it's, it's just breaking my brain. And I want to make him work. I have to find, like, a PvP team, put him on it, and just try and make this work. Just, I will piss away, you know, 15 million mag getting that those, those last two Metatrons to panel for him. And see, see if we can't give this guy some love. And for the final archetype skill, the Elementalist, Repel Electric. Ah, uh, so maybe you can run him with Demiurge. Another grade 99 demon who much, though I don't think Demiurge quite earns... The, the grade 99 but he's definitely up he's definitely close to that if not that he he does allow for expanded tactics in a pretty wild way so get him reinforcing the repel electric then eh, maybe you could slot metatron here on the team and figure something out if you have any ideas let let me know give me your ideas for the metatron teams down below because now that I'm thinking about it I, I may actually just want to go complete mad lad and try it out on the plus side he looks awesome robot angel he's got the fashy haircut looking nice silver is always better than gold see he's predominantly silver but he's got the slight gold trim and it's it's very classy okay it's not gaudy it's very muted very understated, and it accents the boss silver in a big way. And that's all I got for you, Liberators. Remember to pray, and don't get captured.